Hey, what's up guys? Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com. Today with another ROM and a flash review for Samsung Captivate. Today we'll be talking about Paragon RC 5.0. Let's go ahead and get the ROM powered up. So off the bat, we'll see the AT&T World Phone screen. This is a 99000 based ROM. It's going to move right on into the Paragon uh, by SPL screen, which is the kernel uh, boot screen. Um, it's JPY 2.2.1 based. Uh, it's built off the JS3 build. Um, it does utilize the Paragon kernel, which is also based on the SpeedMod kernel. It's overclocked and uh, undervolt capable up to 1.4 gigahertz. And as we can see here, we've got Android uh, boot animation. And of course, we've got boot animation.zip support built in. And that boots right into the, uh, the default Android lock screen. So we'll go ahead and unlock. This is all running on a JK4 modem for the network. Uh, obviously, right off the bat, we saw the minimalistic boot screen. This entire ROM is based on minimalistic type features and fills. Uh, it's kind of designed for you to add what you would like to add. So it's actually really easy to kind of get it set up. There's actually nothing going on here. I've added that one folder that you see right there. So. Uh, in addition to all this, we've got a uh, theme notification and dialer. We've got this glass pane type of uh, smoke glass look to it. Uh, the icons go really well with the black on the green, and um, it's, it's something really pleasant for the eyes to see. Uh, the phone has a nice black and white type of uh, gridded theme as well. Um, in addition to all this, um, we've got the uh, theme lock screen. Uh, that's something kind of new. You know, you don't see a whole lot of uh, lock screen theming. I think it's actually pretty cool. So, obviously, as you can see there, we've got uh, the theme lock screen as well. So, pretty cool background. Also, got the neon green Android type background uh, going on as well. Now, obviously, in addition to all this theming, we've got some kind of custom icons up here at the top. We can see our wireless has more of a circle uh, with a W around it. Um, kind of got a gingerbread style uh, network icon and a circle battery mod uh, with a digital output for the actual percentage. So um, pretty cool stuff too there if you, if you enjoy theming. So I'm actually digging the look on this quite, quite a lot. So um, in addition to all this, we've got new animations. Obviously, as you can see there, it's kind of a custom type thing. We haven't seen the one that kind of starts in the middle and goes out to the side. So you're going to see a lot of things that you're not really used to seeing. See, like notice how it goes down and then into the next menu. So kind of some new animations that we haven't seen uh, that are being uh, called custom for SPL ROMs. So um, some pretty cool stuff there because I, I personally haven't seen those uh, animations. Now you can turn off those animations as well. So keep in mind if you don't like them, you can turn them off. So not a big deal. But um, obviously uh, the entire theme is kind of custom. He's taken a little bit of everything to kind of add his own personal touches. So everything you're going to see is a little bit of him, a little bit of someone else, and uh, a lot of developing going on in general. So it's a little bit of the best. Uh, for the app drawer, we've got the 3D type icons. Uh, for the applications, obviously we're supporting uh, native backlight notification out of the box. Um, if you would like to add the Sorry about that. If you would like to add the uh, the capacitive light up at the bottom, you can simply flash uh, the uh, Guardian Bob Keep the Lights on APK. I've got a video for that, so check it out on my channel, um, and that'll give you a capacitive light up at the appropriate times. Uh, ad blocking is built in with an advanced host file. Um, system apps have all been updated, so all the Google apps, all the uh, the uh, crucial system apps have been updated. Uh, this ROM obviously is supporting uh, the Voodoo Sound 4. It's also got an application to help you manage that as well called Voodoo Control App. And here you can get a lot of advanced settings and uh, change up the way that the uh, Voodoo Sound works. Um, go ahead and talk about our display settings here. We've got the 4 unlock screen that we've been seeing in all the 2.2.1 mods. So switching to, say, the Epic Unlock is as simple as that. And switching back is as simple as that. So that's our display settings. Uh, everything else is about the same in display settings. If we skip on over to audio, we'll still see that we cannot tie the incoming call to the notification. So something that we're lacking here. Uh, pretty much everything in 2.2.1 is lacking the uh, the tie uh, notification to ringer volume feature that we see in a lot of the 2.2 native ROMs. Uh, that is a greatly desired feature. If you guys can come up with that, more props to you, you're going to have a popular ROM because that's one of my favorite features. I love to be able to turn the volume down and have it control the entire 
phone's volume. It's it's very important, and it's what a lot of phones have. Obviously, we've got full haptic feedback throughout. Uh, you can control the intensity and all that. So haptic feedback is not a problem. Home button, hap, home button haptic is working correctly. Um, move into the about phone info, and we'll recap what we've talked about to begin with. Um, obviously, we have the Paragon RC5 uh, for the build number and the uh, Paragon 5 uh, for the kernel and running a JK4 modem. So we have all that info there. So um, that's about all I wanted to cover for now. Let's go ahead and get started with some testing. I'm going to allow myself to get a little time to start up the test and we'll meet up with you in just a second. Okay, let's go ahead and get some tests started. We're going to go ahead and do a uh, end all for active applications as well as a level 2 memory clear. We have added to this device Linpack, Nanomark, Neocore, and Quadrant. We'll go ahead and start out with Linpack and we'll run our benchmark. If the ad loads, remember that it's going to be a little slower to start with uh, for our, our first test. So 13.9, no ads. I forgot there is no ads in this ROM. So I mentioned that earlier, so I just remembered that. Uh, and a 14.1, and we'll go ahead and run it one more time, see if we can get a 14.2. And um, so slightly higher than average scores, we're running at about 1.2 gigahertz out of the box. So as expected, scores for Linpack. We'll do another level two clear here, and go into our Ninomark. And we'll get that set up for you guys. Sorry about that. Jeez. And we'll set up the uh, volume for you as well. Okay, so a 51.1 on the Ninomark, and we'll go ahead and set up a Neocore after we do a quick end all and level 2 clear. We'll set up for our Neocore. Do a run and we'll swing high. Okay, so a 55.6 for our Neocore, and we'll run one last test for Quadrant. I finally updated my Quadrant, so I expect no problems with this. Run a full benchmark, and there we go. We do have Voodoo Lad Fix enabled for this test, so just want to make a note of that. Keep in mind that if you do want to disable the uh, the custom animations, there is an original animations for JPY package available in the original post. You can download that and flash it with Clockwork Manager, and uh, you can actually restore the original JPY animations in case you don't like these. They are pretty cool though, they take some getting used to, but I think you'll like them. Okay, and we'll go ahead and check out our results. Okay, so a 
46 for this particular uh, ROM on this device. So pretty good scores. We're above the uh, the average on all the devices there. So uh, last but not least, I wanted to show you guys the shutdown animation. So check this out. It's a nice little uh, CRT type of uh, no signal on the uh, the old antenna type of uh, shutdown. So we'll power off now. And really cool stuff there. So we got a gingerbread style shutdown with the CRT look. And we've got the grayed out, no signal found type of old school before cable type of uh, animation for that as well. So that is Paragon RC 5.0. You can download it in the description with the uh, link below. Uh, be sure to donate to the ROM developer. They spend lots of times making these. They spend a lot of time making these ROMs uh, just for you. Their donations are what keep them moving and keep the development free for the rest of us. So if you have time, donate to that. And uh, if you appreciate my reviews, I also appreciate uh, donations. It helps pay my web hosting. I love reviewing videos for you guys. I've received some donations in the past couple of days, and I really want to say thank you to you all personally. Um, I, I couldn't do this without you guys. You know, you help pay my web hosting, and uh, I really, really appreciate it. So uh, be sure to uh, donate to the ROM developer. Donate to me if you have time. If not, no big deal. Uh, check out the jigs. They are on sale right now uh, on the products page of my website. They're $8. You cannot beat that. $8 free shipping. Buy your jig today. That sale ends at 12.01 a.m. on Monday morning. So buy your jigs. you, you got about 24 hours left. So buy them, buy them, buy them. So Anyways, thanks for checking this out. This has been another Ramen and Flash review. I'm Josh from MobileTechVideos.com. Check out our website at MobileTechVideos.com, as I just mentioned. And uh, as always, good luck.